Hey, Morning. Up? How you doing? Doing all right. How about yourself? Pretty good. I was expecting a pug. <laughs> yeah, most people are. <laughs> yeah, I got two of them. This is one of my guys. Awesome. Did the GPS by chance like brought you in the alley? Yep. Man, why does it keep doing that? It like, does it, that. It brought me right here. It's done that with a, with a few of the drivers, not all of them. But yeah. Some people that, for whatever reason, they're on their GPS, it's like, you know, showing them like that, that route. Mm -hmm. The fault lies in the app. Like, it doesn't show you your destination. Ah, yeah. Yeah, it's great. So how are the pugs? Like I, I um, noisy. Well, yeah. <laughs> but uh, people that I asked, they um, they say they have a lot of health issues and whatnot. Um, I've been pretty fortunate with my guys. Um, I mean, they're they're not the most active breed, so you, you just gotta have like you know take that in mind and have that understanding. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people that own pugs, they are just negligent on um, feeding, control feeding them. Like mm -hmm. you know, like a lot of people are so used to just. Uh, leaving a bowl of food out for their dog and letting their dog just kind of graze at it here and there, you know, um, at their own leisure. But with pugs, like, my guys, I control feed them two times a day because they're just, they're that type of breed. They'll just keep just sit there and chomp them, right? Yeah. And then they will get obese and, like, they like said, they're not the most active dog. And once, once a dog gets weight, period, it's really hard for animals to shake weight versus, like, a human. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I just control feed them. They're in really good shape. But, um, I mean, like, when it gets hot outside, I'd say any, anywhere above like 80 or something like that. I, I really got to monitor how long they're outside for because uh, they'll start like, you know, just panting really heavy. Um, they're susceptible to like heat stroke, stuff like that, you know, so I try to keep the stem cells cool. Really? Yeah. Hmm. But other than that, great temperament dog, super chill. Cool. I've never seen that, like, I've just never seen an aggressive pug in my life. <laughs> Heard they're pretty cool uh, apartment slash condo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I started off with my oldest. He's an all black one, and he's eleven now. But oh wow, I've, he, I've had the, the least amount of like issues with him as far as like going to the vet and stuff like that. It's my youngest, the one that's like five. He's my problem child. He's <laughs> something's always up with him. He's constantly in the vet. Normally he's just like he hurts himself. Like he pulled one of his nails out at the dog park one time. And <laughs> Uh, he's fucking with one of our cats and got like pawed in the eye and they got those big googly eyes. Big, right. Yeah, so that took a while <laughs> nice. that effect, you know, like that trauma like taken care of and big cat targets. Yep. You know? And then uh this <laughs> past summer he uh he was basically like, coughing a lot all the time and just it's on like a, you know how a cat like coughs up a hairball? Mm -hmm. It was like that and I'm just like, you know, what's going on? So I took him to the vet. They gave us antibiotics and some other stuff, and that didn't fix it. And then they were like, okay, well, we need to do some x-rays, blood work, yada, yada, yada. Took him back more money, and uh, they're like, yeah, he's fine. So they put me on more fucking antibiotics for him. But, like, at this point, like, their only, they're only, um, their only, like, advice for me was, oh, well, maybe, you know, he just needs lifestyle changes. <laughs> you know, because, like, some dogs get overexcited on, like, lifestyle changes. This dude, like, lays on the couch and snores, like... 80% of the day, like he needs to go for jogs. Like he goes around like the block once, and that's it. Like, any more, anything more than that, he's pooped. So basically, I paid you for you to tell me and yeah, to exactly, let yeah. my dog not do anything. Uh -huh. So yeah. eventually, like that cough just kind of you know like went away, but man, they, they never really had any like solid like answer to why it was happening, other than that, like um, he was being you know becoming overexcited and right. whatever coughing a lot, but. That's wild. Not much I can do about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, they're pretty cool dogs. That's cool. I want a bigger dog, but uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at a uh, shepherd myself. Okay. But I don't, I don't, I don't feel right having a shepherd in an apartment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's our thing. Like we got this. I got this kind of like seven years ago, and it's only like. 1500 square foot, something like that. Mm -hmm. I, don't think, I don't think it's that big of a you know place for like a big dog. And I see a lot of my neighbors still have you know big pits and you know whatever labs and collie mix. And I was like, I was like how? Like, right. Like I would need like at least a big ass yard to like let them you know burn off some steam. That's my thought pattern. Yeah. Like, I need a yard. 
exactly. So, like, you know, um, perfect for, like, my situation in the pugs because, like, like I said, they're not the most activist. So, like, um, the weather gets cold like this. They're outside handling business. They want to go back in. Right. Summertime, they're, they're good with going on a walk for, like, a block. <laughs> <laughs> so, works for me, especially on a long day. After a long day of work, and I just want to go home and rest. Right. That's cool. I, I actually, where I'm going right now, I work a, uh, the pet supplies right next to the Trader Joe's. Mm -hmm. I run the grooming department in there, so I work with animals like all the time. Oh, cool, man. It hasn't been that busy just because of the weather. So yeah. I'm not, we're seeing it being really busy today. Not to find it cleared up. Yeah, it's so be in the slot right over here to your left. Yeah, well, it's like, you know, the weather gets like this. People are paying 60, 70 bucks for their dogs to get their hair cut and groomed and they get right back into the snow. A lot of people just want to wait for the weather to get a little better. I understand it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. You're so very Hope welcome. you uh, have a busy day today. Oh, no, actually, I'm done. Oh, all right, well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hope you get to go home and get some rest. That's exactly <laughs> what I'm doing. You have a good one, man. Thank you. How are you?